This is Info Live TV headline news May 20th. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. The White House has denied reports that U.S. President George W. Bush intends to attack Iran before the end of his term. Yet an unnamed senior official claimed on Tuesday that during a closed meeting among the president's top advisors, both President Bush and Vice President Dick Cheney were of the opinion that military action was called for. However, the hesitancy of Defense Secretary Robert Gates and Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice was preventing the administration from deciding to launch such an attack on the Islamic Republic for the time being. State Controller Micha Lindenstrauss presented the annual State Controller's report to the head of Knesset State Control Committee on Tuesday. Today is a day of celebration for Israeli democracy, he said, because there is no real democracy without a critical institution working in the most professional way. Lyndon Strauss refused to comment on the ongoing corruption probe against Prime Minister Ehud Olmert on Tuesday after he was asked to do so at the formal submission of his annual report. The state prosecution has filed yet another indictment against the head of the Islamic movement in Israel, Sheikh Ra'id Salah, this time for inciting a riot. According to the indictment filed with the Jerusalem Magistrates Court on Tuesday, Salah, along with several others, incited crowds during an illegal protest rally held near the Temple Mount in Jerusalem in March 2007. Over 936,000 tourists have visited Israel since January 2008, a 41% rise compared to the same period of time in 2007. According to the Director General of the Tourism Ministry, Shaul Tzemach, the current growth rate is congruent to the ministry's goals, which aspires to bring 2.8 million tourists to Israel a year. Qatari-led mediators gave rival Lebanese leaders one more day on Tuesday to reach a deal aimed at ending a political crisis which brought their country to the brink of civil war. Qatar's Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Ahmed Abdullah al-Mahmoud, said the mediators had put forward two proposals to try to break the deadlock between the U.S.-supported ruling coalition and the Hezbollah-backed opposition. Republican John McCain accused Democrat Barack Obama of inexperience and reckless judgment for saying Iran does not pose the same serious threat to the United States as the Soviet Union did in its day. The likely Republican presidential nominee made the criticism Monday in Chicago, Obama's home city. McCain told the audience that, such a statement betrays the depth of Senator Obama's inexperience and reckless judgment. These are very serious deficiencies for an American president to possess. For the latest in sports news, please tune in to our daily sports update at InfoLive TV. Thank you for watching InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.